A body is uh, dropped from some height above the ground and another body is projected horizontally from the same position simultaneously. Which one of them reaches the ground first? Let's watch the animation before we say anything more about this. Both of them hit the ground at the same time. Does this surprise you? Possibly. You might have expected the horizontally projected body to hit the ground later because it's traveling along a longer path. It definitely has traveled a longer path but it has done so at a greater speed. The speed along this path is magnitude of the sum of the vertical and horizontal velocities and so it has traveled faster along a longer path. Motion in the vertical direction is same for both the bodies. The initial vertical velocity of the dropped body and the projected body are both equal to zero. They have the same vertical acceleration and must at any time have the same vertical velocity and position. You can see the blue vectors being always of same length. The projected body also travels horizontally because it has a velocity component in the direction. There is something beautiful about this way of looking at motion. If the components in a given direction are same, the motion in the direction is same. The added motion in another perpendicular direction does not affect the motion in the original direction. You are now shown uh, two bodies uh, projected horizontally from the same height above the ground simultaneously. You again see the vertical conditions of motion are same for both of them and they reach the ground at the same moment.